Welcome to the demo video of our Income and Expense Tracker Spreadsheet. The Income and Expense Tracker Spreadsheet contains four tabs. A Start tab, where we will edit all the categories, change our currency, and change our start date. A Log tab, where we will add all the transactions. An Overview tab, where you can customize the dates and see an exact overview of your income and expenses and an income and expense breakdown per subcategory and a year overview. In addition to these four tabs, you will also find a README tab in the beginning where you'll find some basic instructions as well as a link to our detailed instruction guide and our help desk. Now we're going to start in the Start tab as this is where we will change the categories before we're going to start adding information to our spreadsheet. If you would like to change your currency, all you have to do is double click on the currency sign, hit backspace, and basically type in the currency abbreviation of your own. So for example, if you would like to use the euro sign, when you change it here, if you will now go to the other tabs, you will see it has updated everywhere else. You will also be able to edit your start date for which you want the year overview to show. So basically this will show 12 months consecutively. So if you would like to start on the 1st of January or the 1st of February, that doesn't matter. You just edit it in the start tab and when you change it here, it will update in the year tab for you automatically. Now here you will also be able to edit your categories. You'll be able to add up to 40 income and 40 expense categories. To change these, all you have to do is basically double click on the field and type in an income category of your own. So for example, if you had a paycheck, if you had freelance income, uh, let's say for example, you had rental income, you just change it here. And once you change it here, it will update everywhere else. If you have any categories that you don't use, what you can do is delete the text. So your spreadsheet and your drop down menus will look a little bit less cluttered. All you have to do is basically click on the top subcategory, hold shift, scroll down, and then click on the bottom one. Now hit the backspace button. This will delete all the other subcategories for you. If at any point in time you would like to add more subcategories, you can simply come back to the start tab and add them in the empty spaces. So now let's add some expense categories and then have a better look to see how the spreadsheet works. So first let's start with deleting all of these. Let's add some basic examples such as food, drinks, uh, travel, transport. You can add anything that works for you over here. Now let's head over to the next step, the log tab. The log tab is where we're going to add all our transactions because when you add a transaction here, it will automatically show in your overview tab as well as in your year tab. So for example, it is currently the 25th of October and we have spent $500 on transport today. Let's say it was also today that we've earned $1,000 from a paycheck that we received. Now when we go to the overview tab, you'll see that there's nothing there because the dates that we have selected are from the 1st of June till the 30th of June. So now let's say for example, we would like to make a quarterly overview. All we do is double click on the field and a calendar will pop up and we now go to the 1st of October and our end date will be the 31st of December. Now when we've updated the dates, we'll be able to see that we spent $500 on transport as well as $1,000 on a paycheck. You'll also be able to see an income breakdown. This will update automatically when you start adding more income transactions with different subcategories and this goes exactly the same for the expense breakdown. Basically everything on this tab updates automatically for you. All you have to do is add transactions to the log tab and change the dates on the top here. Now the reason we have not included a monthly overview or a set monthly overview is because we wanted to give you the freedom to create as many overviews as you like and to create an overview that works for you. So for example, if you would like to create a quarterly overview, a weekly overview, a monthly overview, anything that works for you, you can create as many as you need. Basically, all you have to do to create another overview is click on this little arrow in the overview tab and click duplicate. You can create any overview that you like. So for example, if you wanted a monthly overview for just the month of December, you just select the 1st of December as a start date and the 31st December as the end date. Now, when we go to the log and we add some transactions for December to have a better look at what it would look like, let's say we earned $500 from some freelance work. If we now go to the overview for the quarter, we'll be able to see that it's been updated here. But if we now go to the overview of December, we'll see that we only can see the $500 that was earned from the freelance work. Now, in addition to these overviews, you also have a year overview. This year overview updates automatically for you. You don't have to do anything in this year overview. 
if you would like to see different types of months, as we said, all you have to do is change the start date over here in the start tab. Everything else basically gets added for you. So you'll be able to see a quick overview of your cash flow on the top here. So for example, you can see in October, you've earned $1,000, you spend the $500. So there's another $500 left to spend. You can also see the $500 that you earned in December. In addition to the month by month, you'll also be able to see a total, a breakdown of the income by subcategory and month, and a breakdown of the expenses month by month of all the subcategories. You'll also find some graphs on the top where you'll be able to see a cash flow. So when you go and hover over here, you'll be able to see that uh, your income for October as well as your expenses for October. You'll be able to find an expense breakdown and the last over you'll find is your income minus your expense. So basically what there's left to spend for every single month. And that's it. That's basically everything you need to know about the income and expense tracker spreadsheet. If you have any other questions about this spreadsheet or if this spreadsheet is right for you, I'll leave some contact information in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.